hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to bind the selected table records into your grid view control from drop down list in ASP.NET and here we got the new output notice the default value of the drop down list is select table name now I'm selecting the country table you see the country table is binded into this grid view control now this time I'm selecting EMP table we got the EMP table is binded let's check the last one car and here the car table is binded from the database if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates In my previous video, I have showed how to bind all the table names from this selected database. If you missed my previous video, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get that video link. Now my aim is when I select any of the particular table name, for example, EMP table, I want to display the rows and columns of this EMP table in a grid view control. Let's start the coding part. And this is the code we have just seen on the browser. Now what I'm doing is switch to the source mode. In the drop down list, I'm adding the property called auto post back is equals to true. After that, I'm adding a p tag. Now in this p tag, I'm adding one label control. Open toolbox, a label control. I'm deleting the text property from this label. After that, I am adding one grid view control to display the records. Open toolbox. Come to the bottom. I am expanding the data folder. And here is the grid view control. I am adding that one. That's it. We have done the designing part. I switch to the design mode. Double click the drop down list control. It will generate the selected index change event. The first thing I'm adding the default label for the drop down list control drop down list one dot items dot insert method. This insert method takes two parameters. First one is the integer type index only. The index zero I'm adding, which is the first item of the drop down list control, comma new list item I'm adding the string select table name comma double quotes the second parameter string value I'm leaving blank after adding the default value to the drop down list control and the page dot event I'm adding if not page is post back I'm closing this curly braces after the close method. Now in the selector index changer event, instead of writing the whole code, I'm just copying this part, pasting here. I'm changing the select query select start from the table name plus the table name we are getting from the drop down list drop down list one dot selected item dot text property i'm deleting this drop down list grid view one dot data source is equals to dt grid view one dot data bind method After that, label one dot text is equals to selected table name is plus. I'm adding the bold tag.
now between this plus plus I am adding this drop down list once dot selected item dot text that's it let's check the results on the browser I am reloading the browser link and here we got the new output notice the default value of the drop down list is select table name now I am selecting the country table you see the country table is binded into this grid view control now this time I am selecting EMP table we got the EMP table is binded let's check the last one car and here the car table is binded from the database that's it Thank you.